Hey, Tactical Family. Welcome back to the Tactical Llama. Let's talk about a budget pistol that doesn't get a lot of airtime. The pistol that doesn't get a lot of airtime doesn't get talked about very much. And it's a budget pistol. It's made in Turkey. I own two firearms from this company, which we're not gonna talk about because YouTube doesn't like it. I own a SAR 2000, and it's a hammer-fired pistol. It's great. We also own SAR 9. But before we look into this, I wanna say thank you to everyone who checks out the channel. I wanna say thank you to everybody who subscribes, who comments. I do my best to, to comment back to every person who makes a comment. If you took the time to do it, I wanna take the time to at least reply back to you. I wanna mention our merch. We got our Tactical Llama shirts out there. I think they look great. Also wanna mention memberships. YouTube doesn't really monetize gun channels that well. It's very difficult for us. Everything we do, we have to do ourselves or find other ways to fund it. If you wouldn't mind, if you're interested, you can check out memberships. If you're a member for five consecutive months, we'll send you a free Tactical Llama t-shirt. You can do super thanks and you can check out our Patreon where if you're a Patreon member for five consecutive months there, so either way, we'll send you a Tactical Llama t-shirt. Also, we're gonna set up Patreon where you can get dog tags and things like that for being a member. Just a simple way for us to say thanks for supporting the channel. Let's talk about this SAR 9. This again is a Turkish pistol. When SAR came out with these, there was a contract that was put out. They were looking for a pistol that could be reliable, that the European country could could use came up with what I have to say looks like a love child between a Glock on top pretty much like a Glock there's even springs in here that are Glock springs and the grip is like an HK VP9 the love child between those two those two pistols. This pistol, after five years of testing and 90,000 rounds, the gun never failed. The most they had to do was replace some springs inside the Star 9. It's gotta be one of the most tested guns or, or pistols out there. Stand by. What's in the box is one, your pistol. It comes with two magazines. It comes with adjustable back straps. So there's uh, two different sets and it comes with some adjustable palm swells on the sides. So it's got some, some stuff you can do to it. Comes with the, the bore swab, comes with a punch tool to be able to punch out your back strap and your palm swells, and it comes with a swab rod, uh, rod. Getting back to the pistol. We make sure we're clear, which always am. When you look at this pistol, again, it looks like it's a love child between the Glock and a VP9. The first thing I wanna mention is how incredibly comfortable this pistol is to bring up and hold and fire. It's got texture all the way around. So for the palm swells, the back strap, 
the front, all textured all the way around. Is it the most aggressive texture? No, but it is textured, which allows you to get a good grip on it. I'm able to bring in and get a high purchase. And one thing I really like about this pistol is this undercut right here for my finger. When I'm grabbing this pistol, I can get all the way up in here and some of my other pistols, my knuckles grind in that groove for this SAR 9. And so I really appreciate the, the undercut here. Moving up from the grip is your magazine release. The magazine release is not a oversized magazine release, but it is bigger than normal. You'll notice it's actually a little bit longer than some. You get on some of the pistols out there, it's just a little red, a little round circle. This one though, I can hit it with my thumb. I never have to break my grip, which is great. Very, very easy, very easy to manipulate. It's got some nice indentations here. So when I come up, my finger lays right in that groove, which I really appreciate. Same thing on for my thumb. I come in and it really just rides right in there. It almost acts kind of like a gas pedal for me. I can get in there and I got a really firm grip. I really like that about the Sarnon. We're gonna keep moving forward. The trigger, I will tell you, is not great. Can you change these? Yes. There's not a lot of options out there, but there are some, but it's not terrible out of the box. I can't tell you anything else because that violates you two policies. Coming forward, a little bit of serration on the the trigger guard here, some people like to shoot their guns like this. They'll come up and they'll put their finger on the, on the guard right there. I'm not a fan of it, but if you do, it's nice and textured there. It's got a Picatinny for accessories, like lights. And there is some texture here along the frame. I wish they were out further on the frame so when I'm coming up, my thumb had a spot to, to, to ride like my, my rival. So it's a little further back and doesn't help much. Let's move up to the slide. The rear has a little bit of uh, texturing here. So it kind of reduces that glare if you had that. It's got really solid serrations on both sides. So it's easy to rack. So you're coming over the top, you got it. You're coming from the back, you got it. Very, very easy to manipulate. Also, the same on the front. Good serrations, not overly aggressive, but easy to manipulate, easy to move. I really like that in a very, very budget gun, and we'll tell you here at the end how much it costs. The optics are not great. They are very, very basic, and unfortunately, when you get them, they come blacked out. The rear and the front are blacked out. I wish they didn't do that, but you can swap these out. What you can swap them out with, I'm not sure because there aren't a lot of options out there. You'd have to go look on your own to see what they're out there. I can't tell you what they are. That's against YouTube policy. Again, the front sight is green. Didn't come standard that way. We did that so that I had a better sight picture. All in all, this has just been such a great, great pistol to own, to shoot. It's never once failed. It's never once failed to eject. It's never once failed to feed around. It's never once failed to fire. And we have thousands of rounds through this pistol. And it has been absolutely phenomenal to own. 240, no, $219 I think is what I paid for this pistol. And it is by far one of the best shooting pistols that I have. There you go, the SAR 9. Don't be afraid to check it out. This company, I'm not gonna tell you the name. They make a lot of great pistols. So you'll have to go figure out who makes them on your own. Cause again, that's another YouTube policy. Can't tell you that. Until then, 
Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you stay safe, stay free, support the Second Amendment, and God bless our troops.